<laughs> nice day. A little cold. I don't like to go out when it's cold. Fish don't like to go out in cold. I'm like a fish, I guess, or a fisher like me. Not sure which way you want to look at it. But here's the thing. I've talked a lot about targeting your species. Um, and also I've done a video on like month by month when to fish for which fish, which helps with you targeting your species. So you're not just like, I just want to catch a fish, but you know which fish you want to catch. Well, the weather and in particular the temperature of the water actually kind of dictates which fish you're going to catch. Even if you're not targeting your species, even if you're just throwing something out there and just let me see what I can catch. The weather, the temperature of the water is going to actually dictate or can dictate what you're going to catch. What does that mean, Sans? Well, come on, let me go show you because I'll make some charts, <laughs> like in Photoshop skills. I'll make some charts and I'll show you like water temperature and the fish that, because they don't, they're not here all year round. They're just not, they're not here. They move around, it's a big ocean, they go wherever they want. So well, water temperature determines when and where they're gonna be in the surf. So let's take a look at this video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come on, let's go. Well, my surf fishing friends, it comes down to this. You're gonna to need to pay to park. If you come down here to park, you're gonna to have to pay. That's all there is to it. Uh, I can tell you what I know about it. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna cost money. <laughs> and hey, you can eat, look, you can pay online. You can do it three different ways. One, two, three. Whatever you wanna roll it out and you have to pay to park. Here's what I know. Okay, I am reading this off a sheet of paper, so don't shoot the messenger. But what it says here is that the parking will be $5 per hour for up to three hours, or you can do $20 per day, and that's upgradable to the $80 for a week, and that's seven consecutive days from the time of purchase. Now, they are selling some seasonal passes. They are $175, but they were only selling a 1,000 of those, and I think they sold out. So you might not be able to count on that. What you might be able to do is get out on the boat. If you have a boat, go out on the boat. I had to get out on the boat. It's March. Water temperature is about 60 degrees, maybe a little bit cooler than that. And I just have not been out on the boat since like January. Um, and so I really wanted to get out there. So we went down to Sheep Island. And I was amazed. Look at all the dead jelly. I wanted to catch some fiddler crabs and I ran across all these dead jelly balls. But I had my Dutchman's bait bucket from last year. So I'm like, let me get out there. And lo and behold, there were already some fiddler crabs. Now, it wasn't like overrun and I had to kind of look around for them, but I was getting a couple. So my hope was maybe I can get myself a nice black drum. Now, when I'm talking about water temperatures, keep in mind 60 degrees is not really warm the fish aren't really they're starting to wake up they're starting to come in but uh, the, the the hope of me actually catching a big black drum is probably pretty slim but I, I put them on the hook anyway this way I like to hook them I'll leave that big claw on there sure why not I figure if the fish can tackle that claw that's the fish I want to catch but I wasn't gonna leave it to just that uh, I thought I'd just I had some shrimp some frozen shrimp really and I just thought I'd cut them to little tiny pieces here and I put some of the fish bites on the hook, so I had two rods out, one with the fish bites and the shrimp, and one with the crabs, the little fit of the crabs. And it worked, there were fish biting, which I was very excited about. This <laughs> little spot, now you know my spot rule, I always catch a spot and I'm like, wow, I only caught one, so I'm gonna let them go. But if I had more than this, I'd, I'd, I could have a fish fry. But of course, I always let them go. Well, this one was really small anyway, but I do let them go, and then of course, I'll catch another one right after that, right? But I didn't. I was actually lucky enough to do this double header of croaker. Okay, so <laughs> water temperatures being cold, uh, not the big fish aren't always biting right away. But catching small fish in March is better than catching no fish in February, which is what was happening. And I did manage to start laying some puffer. Now the puffer are, this is the ICW and I'm really close to, to the inlet. So some of those fish are gonna be out in the surf right now. You can catch puffer, if you saw my last video, in the surf right now. And they will be there in March. And then they'll start to move back into the ICW and into the backwaters and you really won't catch them in the surf anymore. But right now, I'm catching them in the surf, and I'm catching them in the ICW, and I'm catching some really nice big ones. So I'm, getting, I'm putting a couple in the bucket here, and this one I actually caught on the Fiddler Crab. That was the Fiddler Crab rod, and I was hoping it was going to be the black drum, but maybe not. And I also found this owl. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. 
So let's talk about water temperature. Now here is a chart I made, and you can see I start at 60 degree water when the fish start to come in, go up to 65, 65 to 75, all the way to 70 by 90. So we're gonna pop in the fish that you can catch at each one of those water temperatures. Right now we're talking the 60 range, and soon it's gonna be 65. And of course I mentioned the puffer already. The puffer are the first fish to come in. I've also done this chart by month. I uh, did it one time, I'll put a link above, where I did month by month, and it sort of goes, it coincides with the temperatures. But you don't know, you know, some springs are warmer, some are colder, so by watching the water temperature you kind of have a better indication of what you're going to be catching not only can you catch puffer but as it starts to warm up to 65 you can catch whiting and here's a nice whiting right here the thing about whiting is they actually come into like the cape fear river in the spring in may and they spawn so this is a good time to start catching them you'll catch some big ones as they're coming in to spawn um coming down that surf trying to find that i guess find the inlet to the cape fear you'll find boats out there just lined up this time of year all right, let's go back to the chart again. Now, I already talked about the 60 to 65 range. The puffer, when it gets to be 65 to 75, are going to start moving out. I guess they go back on the ICW or something like that, but you just don't catch them in the surf after the temperature starts to warm up that frequently like you do in March. The whiting will still be there. They'll be there all summer, but then the bluefish start to move in when you get to that 65 range. Now, that might happen around May, but you know you can't really tell exactly by month, but that kind of early May, you start catching. Actually, I've seen some bluefish being caught already. They've been small, and the ones you catch in May at the 65 degree they're gonna be small too but maybe a foot a little 12 inch foot here you can get yourself uh, like a three out hook get some finger mullet you can buy frozen finger mullet cut it up put a piece of finger mullet on there cast it out and you're gonna get some blue fish the other fish and I'm not really sure how this works is black drum they say the black drum come into the surf at the 65 degree mark I don't know I usually catch my black drum in the backwaters this one I caught in the ICW but it was in that time of year when it was that that range which might be why I didn't catch one last time I was out there when the water was only 60 all right, so let's take a break. Here we are in Oak Island. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> the sun is not shining. The rain is definitely falling. And we're gonna go to the break. It's uh, it used to be the old Russells and I hadn't been here before. But I've heard good things about it, so I thought I'm going to check it out. We went about 11 o'clock, so you can get breakfast there, you can get lunch there. We just went and sat down at the bar, and I was sort of in a breakfast mood, and Kim was sort of in a lunch mood. So I checked out the menu, and <laughs> I didn't see any fish tacos. So, hmm, no fish tacos. Hmm, what to do? Well, I was in the mood for breakfast anyway, so uh, I was going to order the um, Eggs Benedict. I think I'll go with that, but they did have a good selection of basically your breakfast meals on one side, and then you got sandwiches, uh, hamburger type of things on the other side of the menu. So, yeah, get yourself a lunch or get yourself breakfast at 11 o'clock. You can go either way. Uh, but, of course, you got to start with some orange juice. So, cheers. It's a mimosa. Don't tell anybody. It's a mimosa. What's a mimosa? It's orange juice. So, anyway, they took our order, and it came out. And I was like, okay, Eggs Benedict. It looked really good, but you know, I could be fussy because Kim can make some pretty good Eggs Benedict. But I'll tell you what, not only did it look good, but when I bit into this thing, it was super good. And Kim got this like Philly cheesesteak thing, and I'm like, eh, it looks kind of average. But then she gave me a bite, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the best Philly steak cheesesteak thing of Bobby I've ever eaten. And they also had a $2 beer special. You just reach into this cooler and you grab one of these uh, very expensive IPAs. Uh, anyway, it was a fun, good place. I'd recommend it. Go there, get some breakfast, get some lunch. So let's go back to the chart. I'm going to jump ahead to the 70 to 80 because, yeah, you can start to catch king mackerel, but who's going to catch a king mackerel from the surf? Well, I'm going to try, but most normal people, normal people, normal people don't try to catch king mackerel from the surf, but they do try to catch pompano. And if you're in that 70 degree range, you're going to be able to catch pompano in the surf. It's a great thing. You can wear a bathing suit. You don't have to wear your waders because the water's warming up and you get out there with some <clears throat> shrimp, basically sand fleas, yabbies smaller hooks one odd or smaller because they have little mouths and you just put those like sand flea on there and you cast it out keep it in the suds the pompano will come right up to the suds you don't have to cast away out there and you can get now usually you're going to catch it this is a nice pompano i'm not going to lie but usually they're in the, like six inch range little ones you catch but when you get a hold of one of the bigger ones you can get it to be like 11 inches to the fork you know then you're going to be pretty happy because this is a really good tasting fish right there uh the other fish you can catch in the surf is spanish mackerel yeah if you can get some live bait you can get it out there like in a three out three out hook probably steel leader because they got big teethy big teethy fish right so let's say live mud minnows or live finger mullet 
uh, and you can cast it way out there. I do it on a rising tide, you know, get the cast way out there, rising tide, and you can definitely get some Spanish mackerel in the surf. Not impossible, uh, and a good fish to catch. Fun, fun to catch. And then finally, if you get up to the 70 to 80 degree weather, most of the other fishing slows down, but you're going to get the pelagics, you're going to get your sharks, and maybe even a tarpon. You put a live, put a live piece of bait on it. Go get yourself like a pinfish or something, and put them on a nice big five out hook. Cast it way out there in a rising tide, yeah, and you can get a tarpon. <laughs> it can be done. <laughs> anyway, here's what I'm going to do because we're back to the 60 degree weather go to the sporting goods shop clems opens on the 30th so we can get some really fresh bait but they have fresh bait here and they pretty stocked up for from the winter I, I went there and i was like i need some four ounce four ounce weights i was getting low on those you know four ounce weights one out hook it's going to do you most fish in the in the surf and the fresh bait is going to be better than the frozen bait so you go in the fridge and you pull yourself out a little bag of fresh shrimp right there oh yeah from the back i took it from the back it's fresher back there right <laughs> <laughs> bring it up pay for that bad boy and then hit the beach okay it's beautiful out i mean as far as it's going to be when the water's 60 degrees right so put on a sweatshirt you got a hat and you can get sunburned this time of year believe it or not you can be out there an hour or something like that even though it's only like the wind's blowing it's not even 70 degrees the sun's still beating down put on your waders because that water's cold and just cast out some shrimp and see what you can get and of course you know like i said they're puffer <laughs> this is a little guy right now uh, i think i've done enough videos catching puffer i probably won't have to do another one until next year <laughs> But the thing about it is it's actually kind of hit or miss in the 60 degree weather. Like some days you go down there and you're like, wow, I just hit a nice pocket. I'm getting a bunch of puffer. And some days you go down there and like, oh, I'm not doing anything but pulling in some little croaker. And the croaker aren't even worth looking at. Like they'd be great in the fish tank, but not, they're not going to even pan fry these things. It's like three inches. So he's going to go back. And this afternoon, I actually was kind of disappointed. I'd been down there and I hadn't been catching anything. And I actually got down to like my last two pieces of shrimp. And I'm like, I'm just going to throw these last two pieces of shrimp and get out of here because I'm not really hitting anything and then all of a sudden I got a really great hit and I was like what the heck is this like holy cow and I pulled it up and I thought and I was with Kevin there he's like I, is it a drum and I'm like no it's a it's a whiting I'm like this is probably the best whiting I've ever caught it was like a 14 and a half I'm gonna throw in the half that's right 14 not 14 14.5 inch whiting and I was super psyched about it because he gave me a nice little fight there and I just hadn't caught anything and it was like the last cast and here he was and I'm like oh yes I'm gonna take this home to Kim she can make up some fish tacos and we're gonna have a great afternoon so watch the water temperature figure out what fish are in the surf at that time with that temperature set the right bait set the right hook set the right rig and get out there and go fishing <laughs>